Hey everybody, today I'm going to take some baseboards and coat them for a customer. They, uh, I'm looking for something, so anyways, put it down somewhere and I can't find it. So anyways, uh, we, we finished their floors and their baseboards look terrible, so they asked me if I could uh, spruce them up. And I said, sure. So it'd be a good little video on how to spruce up some baseboards without doing a whole lot of work. So anyways, uh, get yourself some um, drywall screens that work well. We have some screens they make for us in the floor industry. So I just use those. 220 grit. You can go down to 180. 150, 120, um, and you sand with the base. So it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. I just fold my screen over, sand all the stuff, all the grime and the cracks, everything, paint splatter, get that off of there, get it under. I'm just going to do one coat of polyurethane. You can do two. Get that paint that paint off of there. Some spots. Doesn't have to be perfect because whatever you do is going to be a improvement. So that's all we're going for. Improvement. So and once you're done with that, I take a detailed cloth, a microfiber, wipe down the baseboard. Like that, get it clean, get all those cobs off there, get it wiped down, can bring it over right there, the, uh, just that, got some uh, polyurethane in a paint tray, I got my microfiber roller, uh, ready to go um, and so make sure you ring that out roll no skids roll it that fits right in the groove on the top the decorative they call it an OG I don't know what it stands for stands for something and then that's it there you go baseboard rolled and then pick it up put it with the rest of the guys just like that so that's how it goes. I'll do a few more here. A few more. And then, uh, then I gotta get busy. Gotta keep it moving. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Roller. I fill the roller up. About every two, that's going to be something you're going to have to gauge yourself. Get it all down in there. Don't want to push too hard. You don't want to create any excess that doesn't need to be there. Any drips and runs. There you go. Pretty simple, not very hard. Uh, hardest part is actually uh, prepping the base. So um, uh, you want to make sure you get it sanded so that polyurethane will grab onto that scratch pattern from the sandpaper. So if you don't do that, it'll peel. It'll peel off. But um, anyways, there are some. You can use a shellac if you want. I've done uh, where I've just brushed on shellac and then applied uh, the polyurethane. Sometimes that'll work. The shellac will de-wax shellac. 
make sure it's de-waxed shellac. And then the poly will just stick to that if you don't want to sand anything. So, but always be safe. Go for the mechanical bond. I don't rely on anything that uh, really says, you know, clean it with this. It'll etch it and then go ahead and coat. So, um, maybe that's been the future and it'll be what we uh, have to rely on in the future. But for right now, I'm old school and I believe a mechanical bond uh, is always the sure way to go. So, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Over now.